This lesson is on cutting fabric threads. Uh, fabric thread cutting is a little bit scary because it feels like there, if you make a mistake, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, that's not really true, but it is better if you don't make mistakes. So I've made this video to guide you through the process that I used for cutting fabric threads. So if you look at lesson two, at the top of page one, um, you are instructed to take your ornament fabric out of your embroidery hoop because cutting is easier that way. I have mine still in my hoop uh, so that I can keep my fabric sturdy while I'm doing the demonstration. But it is easier if you do this outside of the fabric, uh, outside of the uh, embroidery hoop. So what we're going to do is using your number 24 tapestry needle, which is this one. It's the larger of the needles that has the long eye and the blunt tip. We are going to count up from the center of one side, and I'm gonna choose this side. These long back stitches here are over four fabric threads each, and they each represent one of the four-sided stitches that is used as a border for this um, stitching. So what we're going to do is we are going to count up six fabric threads, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're gonna slide the needle under the seventh fabric thread, like so, so that the eye of the needle is right under that fabric thread. And what that does is that isolates that fabric thread so that it is away from all of the other ones, so that when you cut it, uh, you're cutting only that one fabric thread. So we're going to take um, our embroidery scissors, and this is a pair of uh, embroidery scissors that have fine, sharp points, and you need um, you need that for uh, for this cutting because the scissors have to fit into the eye of the needle. Also, for any form of embroidery where you're cutting fabric threads, it's a really good idea to have scissors like this. Um, really nice and sharp and with fine pointed tips. So we're just going to slip the tip of the scissors into the eye of the needle and snip that one fabric thread. And you see the knot, the needle pops right out because that fabric thread is cut. And you can see right there that it's cut and I will pull it out just a couple of threads on either side of the cut. As you can see, I have my needle set up to cut the next fabric thread. This is on an adjacent side um, of this rectangle. I've only done half of the rectangle here um, for time's sake, but uh, you will have the full rectangle of four-sided stitches. And I'm gonna cut that fabric thread as well and start to pull those fabric threads out. Okay, now you can see that I have pulled the fabric threads out so that the line of open fabric meets in the corner here. And I did that in both corners and you'll do this all the way around the rectangle that you have. If I flip this fabric over, you'll see that I have left these fabric threads in place and you can see that they meet in the corner there, okay? And this is what you should do for the first step of cutting fabric threads. And leave these fabric threads in place. Do not cut them off, okay? Okay, now we're looking at the ornament cutting diagram, which is on page two of lesson two. And it has lines on it. You'll see here, this line here, this line here, this one, and then there's one further up. I'm looking at this on my computer, so I don't have the whole thing there, but you can look at it um, on your printed page. So the lines, the fabric threads that we're gonna be cutting are represented by these lines that run across here. Each of these represents one fabric thread. 
uh, and we are going to cut a total of 20 th along this line here. And we've already cut the first one, so what we want to do now is cut 19 more right up the center like that. So now we're going to start cutting more fabric threads and you can um, use your needle for each fabric thread like we did with the first ones if you like um, but they're a little more isolated now so you can if you want to just snip them with your scissors. It depends on what you're more comfortable with but I'm just going to lift one up here and give it a snip in the center. And then I'll pull that back until it meets this line here and this line here and then I'll do 18 more. That was the second one. The first one we cut here, that's where the space is. I'll do 18 more. Okay, now you can see that I have cut all of the fabric threads down the center and I pulled them uh, out to, until they met this line on each side. And I left them in place. I'm just gonna flip this over. I left them in place on the back of the work. You can see them all right here, okay? and you are going to leave yours in place just like that. You are not going to cut them off. And the reason that I repeat saying this is because when I taught this class before, there were people who cut them off. So uh, you're going to learn from their mistake and not cut these fabric threads off, right? Looking back at the ornament cutting diagram on page two of lesson two, we have cut all of these fabric threads here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this line and we're not going to worry about this one right now. We're just going to cut this one. Okay. Uh, that goes all the way across from one side to the other side. Okay. Now when I say that goes all the way across from one side to the other side, I don't mean from the four sided stitches on one side to the four sided stitches on the other side. I mean from this line on this side to this line on this side. So we're going to cut all of these fabric threads all the way across here. And I'm just going to lift each one up and snip it all the way across. Okay, now you can see I have cut all of the fabric threads across here and I pulled those fabric threads out until they meet uh, this line on the side, the uh, first fabric thread that we cut along the side there. I'm going to flip this over and see that all of these fabric threads are still in place back here, right? Now in your instructions, there's a photograph, it's called Photo B and it's also on page two of lesson two and it shows picking up all of the fabric threads that you want to cut on your needle um, once, once these long ones are um, removed across the middle, picking them all up on your needle like this and then using that to cut them down the center. And that's actually a really good way to make sure that you've got the right number. You want to make sure that you've left eight fabric threads here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've left eight fabric threads, which we will be doing some weaving on later. And use your scissors to cut all of these at once. Now this is just um, a partial um, space here because I didn't do the whole rectangle, but we're just gonna cut them right down the middle with our scissors all at once. Okay. Now what I like to do with those fabric threads is to finger press them away from the opening. Like so. And then kind of swoop them towards the corner. like this, so that when you start your overcast stitch, you'll be stitching over all of these fabric threads. 
and you want to make sure that you catch them all. Now I've started uh, a piece of number eight pearl cotton in the 24 tapestry needle and I've started that with an away waist knot and I'm going to start uh, stitching the overcast stitch. Now the overcast stitch is basically a satin stitch but it goes over the edge of these cut fabric threads and the purpose of it is to finish off that edge and I apologize for the movement but this is going to be easier um, without the frame. It's to finish that edge and hold down all of those cut fabric threads that we have at the back and this uh, traditionally is a little bit of a pulled stitch because you want to make sure that those fabric threads are at the back are secure. So you can use your needle to make sure that the stitches are lying straight the way they're supposed to and you can see that even though this is over four fabric threads it's actually a little bit smaller than you might think and that's because I'm pulling it just a little bit um, to secure those fabric threads. Now what you want to do is every now and then flip over your fabric and make sure that you're catching all of these fabric threads as you go towards the corner. And when you hit the corner, you wanna swoop these over to the side and make sure that you're catching these ones here from the other direction as well and go around the corner. And these ones will go towards this corner and these ones will come down towards this corner. And I have uh, found that for some people, um, this is easier if you tack these down either with pins uh, or with small stitches. You can just tack these fabric threads down and it holds them in place a little bit. 